Hello everyone, my name is Scott Moore and I'm the support engineer here at Adventure Pilot. I'm going to take a few moments to show you how to update your iFly 700 using Google Chrome today. Um, to get started, go ahead and open Google Chrome and navigate to iFlyGPS.com. Okay, and once there, go ahead and go log in. Okay, and once logged in, you should see the name you created and log out to the right. Now's a good time to connect your USB flash drive to your computer. And then go down to updates and then create update package. Okay, and from here we can select TFRs and METARs or airport nav database or software. Um, TFRs and METARs will always be checked. You have the option to go through and uncheck it if you'd like, but we just want to make sure you have the latest um, TFRs and METARs um, on your iFly. Depending on when you purchased your iFly, if it's been within the last few weeks, you should have the latest updates. Um, of course, you won't have the TFRs and METARs. You have to update it every time you go to our website or before your trip. Um, but, you know, like you can see here, we have the new database available as of January 5th. So if it's been a while since you've updated or you purchased your unit before that, um, you know, go ahead and you can click right here and update. And same with software. Uh, sectionals, we have new maps as of January 4th. As you can see here, Atlanta, Charlotte, and a couple more. They expire, you know, a couple of them expire in August, July, and, and uh, June. And we have a little, little tool right here, display new sectionals with at least within the previous 30 days. You have the option to select 7 to 365 days. So if you need to go back and see any sectionals, you know, in the list from, let's say, August, September of, uh, you know, 2010, you can. Or you can just go back and select the most current ones. So I'm going to select Atlanta. And the same rule applies to terminal area charts as well. Plates and diagrams. And like I said, if you have the latest, you know, if, if you purchased pretty recently within the last two to three weeks, you should have the latest place of diagrams. Feel free to just check on the valid date. Um, you can just go ahead and select any of the states that you need. And if you're an IFR pilot, feel free to select any of the low and root charts below. We also give you a pretty handy little pop-up map. So you can go through and select any of the zones. So for like for this example, I'm going to use L17 for Dallas. But feel free to select any of those maps that you need. And as I tell other customers, you know, bear in mind the more you select, the larger the package is going to be. So you know, you notice I only checked a couple options, and I'm already up to 45 megabytes. So if you just keep selecting low under charts and sectionals, it's going to your package is going to get a lot bigger, and it's going to take a lot longer to download. Okay, there's really no difference between downloading, you know, an, your update on uh, Google Chrome as it is on Internet Explorer and Firefox. What we'll do is just right-click on this little green arrow and click on Save Link As. Little window is going to appear, and yours may not look the same as mine because I've updated before. But you, sh you might start up here, you might start on desktop. But scroll down underneath Computer, and you should see your USB flash drive. Or you can just click on computer, look underneath devices with removable storage, and find your flash drive. And double click on it. All right. And then go ahead and click on save. Okay. And as you can see, our package is done downloading. All we're going to do is go to start, computer, and we're just going to check to make sure it's there. Okay. It's right here, 45 megabytes. We'll go back to computer, right click on the flash drive, go to eject. And as you can see, it's safe to remove your flash drive from the computer. Now you can just plug it in your iFly 700, go to Menu, check for Update File, and it should install without any problems. If you have any issues, feel free to contact me. My name's Scott at 1-888-200-5129. Thank you, and have a great day.